My grandmother used to tell me all the time, keep your hook in the water. If you don't keep your hook in the water, you can't catch any fish. And so I think art's the same way. You gotta just keep, keep fishing, keep fishing. Sooner or later you'll get a bite. And other times there's, there's a particular piece that you wanna do and you start working on it and sometimes it comes out really good and sometimes uh, it kind of morphs into something else. So that window of opportunity is just a, a spontaneous moment when stars all line up and something special comes out. Yeah. I like red. I use red in probably 95% of my pieces. Um, I just love that color. And there's something luscious and, 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 and uh, very sensual about red lips. The, the human lips are like fingerprints. Each set of lips that I do is different. You know, it's kind of like uh, they said that Billie Holiday never sang the same song the same way twice. You know, you, you, you try to keep evolving, keep changing. So in other words, like for instance, my nudes, I've done so many variations on the same thing. The sketch comes first. Not all the time, because sometimes I, I like to take a piece of clay and just spontaneously sit down and just create a piece from that strip of clay. But a lot of times those sketches, the ones that are special, I look at them and go, ah, you know, I think I'll work on that. And it takes about, about 10 days to create a piece from start to finish. In the beginning, I started doing the vessels and the bowls. And I started putting faces in some of the bowls that I had, because I love faces, I always like faces. I was in the studio one day and I, and I just decided I would do a mask because I always liked masks. And I basically was taking my fingers and just kind of digging into the clay and just creating these faces, these real raw, you know, images of a mask. I did one, I put it to the side, I did another one, I put it to the side, and then I did a third one. Something came over me. I think Jackson Pollock called it breaking the code. But I remember I broke down, I just cried. I just knew at that moment that I had just, I discovered something that was, that was mine, you know. Quit my job in 1999 to do this full time. And I think because I'm self-taught, it's always been very surreal that I've been able to, to, to make this work and, and make a living doing it. Um, and, 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 and I love doing it so much, it's such a passion. Um, it seems like I wake up every day uh, thinking about something new to create, something new to say. Taking a lump of clay and creating something from basically nothing is still magical to me.